Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this clip art, and they're trying to not trace it, but redraw it and using the teardrop tool. Uh, the teardrop tool is under the common shapes. I call it the teardrop tool or water drop tool. It's right here. It's not consistent with this shape. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna trace it first and show them that it traces really good. And then I've drawn two, a little bit different than theirs. And I've drawn this before in another video, but I thought I'd go ahead and include it. It's, it's pretty big, so I'm gonna reduce it. And then I'm gonna to go to outline trace or trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. And it traces it really fast. Now there are a couple of problems with it. If we look closer, there's a little jig right there. Uh, there's some gray matter. But what we can do is first of all, I always do is a yellow box trick and make a box and turn it yellow. Go up to object, order, back a page. And you can see that the inside circle is white. So we can click on the whole thing, go to object group and ungroup it. And then you can get rid of that white. That's really pretty good. But what you could do to get rid of that part, and we could do the same thing here. Let's just click on that and just delete it. It's a little bit off, but it's not bad. But what I would do in this case in trying to repair that, instead of trying to repair that circle, let's take away our yellow box now. And let's see how big this thing is. And it's less than two and a half inches. So let's set our nudge factor on three. And let's draw a ellipse. Kind of start in the center and hold down the control in the shift key and get it about where it was. We could actually move it down a little bit because you could help hopefully redraw this circle a lot better. I'm going to move my nudge factor to like 0 0.01, click on my ellipse and just kind of nudge it over and nudge it down a little bit. And you can see my ellipse is perfect and theirs is not. Now I'm going to reset my nudge factor on three inches and I am going to move that over. I am going to left click, right click, and I am going to take that circle and just delete it. Now we can take that shape and put it back use the smart fill tool on black, and there you have a pretty good circle. Now, it's not perfect here, but I thought I'd just kind of show you, uh, if it doesn't have to be exactly like that, you could redraw it. First, we're gonna draw the ellipse, and what I would do in this case, I'm gonna work in the center of the page, like I always do and like working in the center of the page. I'm gonna draw an ellipse, not holding down the control button and just kind of make an ellipse like that. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to take a two-point line and hit P. And then I'm going to rotate that line from the center about where I think it, well, it actually wrote, didn't rotate from the center. Click on the center and rotate it. There we go. Then what I can do is control D and duplicate it and mirror it. That way we've got that exact shape. I don't think the opening is enough. So what we're going to do is make the opening a little bigger. If you don't click on that X, Corel will turn it into a, a uh, with the shape tool. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And then I'm just going to take away this line. Now at that time we can take away both those lines and we have that opening. Might still not, not be enough. But if you go to your artistic media tool and pick one of all of these, it has skinny tips on the end. And then as always, you got to bump it up a little bit. And there is that shape. Now to draw this other shape, I just took an ellipse and made an ellipse. I'm going to go ahead and hit P, put it in the center of the page and then move it up. And I don't think this is in the center of the page anymore. There we go. And take this ellipse. And I'm going to put indexing lines in the center of the page. And I'm going to take a two-point line and try to go where I'm not going to interfere. And I'm actually going to go past. Now, to get it to start on the same spot, I'm going to 
hit the plus key on the keyboard and mirror it. Then I can grab that X holding down the control button and it'll snap right to it. Now you can see that I have uh, intersecting lines there, so it's right in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, before I delete this ellipse, I'm gonna put the other ellipse in there. And I'm gonna hit P and then I'm gonna move it. I'm not paying too much attention to the size of it. And then we're gonna take this, the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. You don't have to delete these lines, but you can. And then take the Smart Fill tool set on black, and there you have that shape. Now, like I said, my ellipse is not um, perfect. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit and hit P. Still not perfect. Um, but one thing that's kind of good and bad about the inner, uh, uh, about the artistic media tool, we can go to object and break the artistic media apart. And now we can nudge and that other line will still be there. There's the other line. Now I'm gonna make that line thicker or make it black. And then just basically do the same thing. I'm not gonna take the time. And you can see how it kind of messed up our shape. I don't want it that close. And then just delete. And of course I'm not being perfect with that. And at this, at this time, you can delete these other lines. Delete these other lines, collect on your line, select on your line, and bump it up. Now, you can kind of see that the line was messing it up. So all you have to do to do that is just take that away, Smart Fill Tool, fill it back in, and now that line's gone. And at that time, we can move it more so down. And as always, you'd want to get rid of your exterior lines. I don't know which right, though. My lines are still there. So I moved it. I'm going to nudge it and get rid of my lines. And then that way, when I nudge it back, it'll be right in the exact same spot. So you can either trace it. Now, his is the whoever drew this, it's a little bit fatter. Uh, but there's a lot you can do with that to make that fatter. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.